So I moved to Lisbon in February this year. So my, my role here is uh, the principal investigator of uh, oncology research group. Right now we have some we have PhDs, we have students, we have physicians in the group. And the big idea of the group is like to use this very nice opportunity to interact with the clinics here at Jean Palimo Foundation and develop some of our, some of our like novel uh, projects that we've been developing the last five, six years to bring it here to Lisbon and try to apply this as well as we can. Yeah, we, 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 always, we always try to keep this balance between the bench work, the basic science, and but always guided by what's important in clinics. So one of the first questions we always ask ourselves in our, in our projects is like, how can we help clinics? How can we help uh, detect cancer? How can we, how can we help, treat, help treat cancer? So, uh, and based on these questions, we guide all the research we, we, we do in the bench. So right now, for example, one of the, some of the main questions we have is about early detection, is about prediction of prognosis, is prediction and measurement of response to therapy. So that's the main, the big questions we ask. The main idea of the works we do is like to, we try to look cancer in a different perspective. So if you look for in the news and the, the, the papers around, like uh, most works like are based on trying to target cancer cells, so like to kill cancer cells to, with radiation, with chemotherapy. And the kind of work we do, we, we, we take into, into consideration the role of non-tumor cells. So we know that non-tumor cells are very important in working together with tumors, and they're very important for the, for, for the success of the tumors, like meaning it, for them to initiate, for them to grow, for them to spread. And, and we know that if you, if you act in the biology of these non-tumor cells, you can affect a lot the biology of tumors. So we try to adopt this different perspective by looking at these non-tumor cells, and that we already described, they're very important for metastatic spreading, and if you see these cells circulating, they are very bad prognosis for the patient. And beyond that, we work with uh, emerging field in biologies. For some, it's very, like, um, how can I say, uh, not contradictory, but there, there is still a lot, of, a, lot, a lot to learn in this field. This is the field of extracellular vesicles. So people don't know very well yet what do they do in a normal, in, in, in me and in you, like in healthy people. But at least in oncology, we are seeing that these extracellular vesicles are very, very different from the from those that we find in normal people and healthy people. I mean, and that firstly, these these vesicles they can help us understand how tumor cells talk with normal cells, which is very important. And second, like as they are released abundantly in in our body in our circulation, we can get them very easily in our blood, for example. So this is a as people are calling right now as a liquid biopsy. So you can get samples from tumors that are. I don't know, inside your bone or in a very complicated site to do a biopsy by getting a, a blood sample. So you can get, you can intercept the communication between the tumor and the normal cells. So this is a very nice opportunity, not only to detect these, these tumors and all these conversations, but also to try to target it, to try to block this, this conversation and try to do something about the, this process. I think that, uh, at least the way I look, I mean, of course, based a lot on, on, the, on the sort of research projects we perform, I think that we, we may end up understanding well enough how, how tumor and non-tumor cells interplay, and we may learn not necessarily only how to eliminate tumors, but also how to modulate this tumor and non-tumor cells in a way that we can live with a tumor for the rest of our life. We can make I think one of the things that may happen is that to, we may learn how to turn a, a tumor, uh, a tumor disease, into a chronic disease. We may, we may end up living, learning how to live with that. Like, I mean, and we know that. I mean, there are some, there are some very interesting uh, uh, research showing that many of us, depending on the age, we pretty much all of us have some sort of cancer cells in our body, but they, they end up not, not growing. So we, we, we may not even have cancer uh, and you know so we maybe the idea is that we may learn how to chronify cancer that I think that that's a way probably probably based on the sort of work that I do uh, that's that's one of the things I like to think about the future like 
about the outcome of works like the ones we do here.